Hey guys, so just a disclaimer, if my hair goes in all weird which ways, it's because it is air drying. So I just want to say that just because, you know, I know sometimes I'll be editing a video and I'll have hairs going this way, this way, and I'm just like, ugh. Anyways, today's video is going to be crap products, products I regret buying, products I don't like, and products I wished I had not wasted my money on. That being said, I love videos like these because I'm the type of person who's always trying to pinch my penny. I am so hesitant about going out and spending money on products that are you know so overhyped because sometimes they don't work for everyone so before I go out and make a big purchase I always like to do my research I always like to you know to find out what are the pros and cons who it benefits who doesn't like it why they don't like it etc now along with that like I said earlier some products that work for me are not going to work for you and vice versa so you might like one of these products and I it just didn't work for me or you might have a product that you didn't like but you know is like my holy grail so just keep that in mind these are just my opinions you don't have to listen to me but I'll tell you why I don't like them and if you like them comment down below and tell me why you do like them and why it works for you the first product I want to talk about is actually my first high-end concealer and when I think of high-end I think you know Sephora MAC I don't think it's Chanel or Estee Lauder or stuff like that because, girl, ain't nobody got money for that. <laughs> so I went out and I purchased Boing by Benefit. I'd heard good things about this and I got it in the color 02. And you know what? I do not like it. I am taking this sucker back to Sephora because it just did not work well on my skin tone. I felt like it didn't blend well. It's a very muddy color and rather than, you know, concealing my under eye circles, it just kind of enhanced the purpleness. I used this twice and I just was not a fan. It says industrial strength concealer. That's all it says. And this was $24 and that's a lot of money for me to, to spend on a concealer because like I said, I'm used to drugstore concealers. So that's what the swatch looks like if you guys can see that right there. I just think there's so many more products I can get at the drugstore that would allow me to buy not only that thing, but another thing on top of it for the price of this. So I just was not happy with this. You know, it's a shame because I was really interested in trying this, but you know, it's going back. Another face product I did not like is this e.l.f. This is the Warm Tan Bronzer. You guys can see this. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my previous products I regret buying, but if I did, I'm going to mention it again. So why I do not like this is just because it is not a bronzer. It is the most sparkly, shimmery thing I've ever seen, and it is nowhere near a bronzer-like formula. It is definitely an eyeshadow, if you can see that right there. I do not like shimmery products on my face. You know, I like something with a nice sheen or even very finely milled glitter, but this is just so so shimmery this definitely belongs in your eyes rather than your face I was gonna keep it and use it as an eyeshadow but I find myself never reaching for this so I'm just gonna trash this as well now two eyeshadow quads that I did not enjoy are one is from Revlon and one is from Maybelline this Revlon one is called decadent one of the colors fell out there you go well I mean I didn't like it to begin with but it comes with these really pretty like a golden beige color a brown and then a nice shimmery pink I just these quads I have another one by Revlon and they're just so chalky now the brown is actually pretty I like the way the brown swatches but they just do not show up nicely on your eye they just show up very very chalky they're hard to blend you guys can see the swatches right there and I just was not a fan of these so this is another item I'm just gonna trash because you know I've realized honestly I do not like drugstore eyeshadows and I'm not saying that to be like conceited oh I only shop at Sephora or MAC and stuff like that because you guys know me and that's not true but I just do not like the formula of drugstore eyeshadows I have yet to find a brand that really wows me with their eyeshadows now, of course, like I like the Maybelline color tattoos, but that's not even an eyeshadow. That's a cream shadow. So I wouldn't even say that counts, but this, and look, it broke. Cheap packaging. But I just am not a fan of this um, product. I do not like the formula. And I think from now on, instead of, you know, venturing out and trying new drugstore eyeshadows, I'm just going to stick to my palettes and my high-end ones because they never fail me. Another one that I'm probably going to get, you know, like, wow, I love this, blah, blah, blah. This is the Maybelline um, Modern Metallics in Chai Latte. So that's what that looks like. Now these two colors I love right here. It's like a copper and then a nice like matte light brown. I love those colors. However, 
And this color, don't get me wrong, is beautiful, but it does not show up on your eye like that. And this is another pretty color too, which reminds me of MAC Naked Lunch, but don't let it fool you, it doesn't show up either. So I will show you... See, look at how chalky that is. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but there's just flakes of eyeshadow. Now, like I said, I like that color. I like that one too for the crease, and this brown isn't bad, but it's just like... Ugh, I am so tired of wasting money on products that just suck. So that's a swatch of that quad. It's just very chalky. It just does not show up on the eyelids. No matter if you use a primer, if you wet your brushes, the pigmentation just does not come out as beautiful as it does in the packaging. So this, out the window as well. Now I have to say, I have another e.l.f. product that I don't like, and I genuinely like e.l.f. products, but this one sucks. This is the e.l.f. blush in Gotta Glow. A lot of people compare this to NARS Albatraz. It's either Albatraz or Albatraz, one of the two. It is not comparable to that. It is so chalky. Again, another chalky product. And the color is just kind of weird. It's like a weird yellow it reminds me of Nylon by MAC, if you guys know what that color looks like. Again, look at the chalkiness on that. Ugh, terrible. But, oh, you can see it as I swatch it too. It is just not a flattering color. This was my first highlighter I ever tried, and it, like, kind of put a bad taste in my mouth as to how other highlighters are going to work on my face, but that is not true. Since then, I've purchased one by MAC, I've purchased one by Hard Candy, and they are just so much better than this. And although this is only $3, I don't even spend the three dollars on that it's not comparable at all two lip products again revlon's making an appearance which is weird because i normally like revlon too but this is the revlon lip butter and this is in creamsicle it comes in the peach packaging personally i love lip butters i love revlon's lip butters i think they're absolutely amazing i have about six or seven of them and i love every single one of them except this everyone was talking about the nude nude Revlon lip butter and how beautiful it was and blah 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 and so when I went out I figured this was it this is not the nude color that everyone was raving about this is just the ugliest like dead person nude lips I've ever seen I cannot stand this color like this is by far the worst product in this whole products I regret buying I hate this so I want to show you what that looks like if you guys can see that it's just a really weird peach color, and it is not flattering on light skin tones. Maybe if you have medium to dark, I would say this would look pretty, but not for light, fair skin. And another thing is, it's just like almost gunky. And I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that word, but it's just like very thick. I don't have a problem with any of the other Revlon lip butters. None of them have this gunkiness, but this just looks like when you apply it, it just looks like layer upon layer it's just not blendable at all so oh i cannot stand that that is going in the trash this is a steel lipstick this is the color natasha <sighs> another frosty pinky ugly dead color this is a really yucky color i've had this for a while now and i just never ever use it so i'll do a swatch of that right there this is again another gunky color just like the Revlon Lip Butter, how I said it's like a gunky, thick formula, so is that. And it's very frosty, if you guys can tell. And frosty lips, eh, eh that is a definite no-no. So this is going out the window. Now, I only have one nail polish. I normally like the formulas of nail polish. And by the way, I love Essie. Essie is, I think, my favorite nail polish brand of all time. I have so many Essie colors. I have an Essie collection, basically. But this color is just a Fail. This is Essie's Macchiato. I love that name. It just makes me want to go to Starbucks. But that's the color. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is going to be really pretty. It's like a light teddy brown with um, very thin, finely milled silver glitters. No, it comes up so terrible. It is just, it's basically like a, a very light brown with just glitter in it. The light brown color does not show up. It is not pigmented and you just get like a bunch of shimmer on your nails rather than like an actual color. So I am not happy with this and I actually think I might give this away because 
even though like all of these products these are just you know cheap junky ones like I could throw those out I don't mind losing that but this is an actual you know this is an $8 nail polish so I don't like this color but maybe one of you guys will so if you guys want this color I know a couple of you might just leave me a comment let me know and like maybe I could put your names in a drawing and just send this to one of you because you know I do like Essie and maybe one of you guys will like this color better than I do so I don't know, let me know about that. And last but not least, this isn't a product I necessarily hate, but it's a product I do regret buying. This is the Salon Graphics Healthy Hair Nutrition. This is the Conditioning Cleanser and Citrus Cream. Now, what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to replace your deep conditioner, it's supposed to replace your shampoo, it's supposed to replace your regular conditioner, your detangler, everything. This is supposed to be an all-in-one product. Now, that's nice and everything if it actually does that. This product does not do what it claims it does. Um, when I used it as a conditioning cream, you know, like a shampoo, it just, I found my hair getting oily the next day and it didn't really leave it soft. So I have about this much left and I've just been using it as a regular conditioner now. I'm just ready to throw this out and, you know, actually get a good conditioning cream. So this was about only 8 bucks, but still, I just, I don't like when products claim they're gonna do something and they fail at that because that is false advertising and you can't do it. So I just was not a fan of this product and I'm just gonna use it up, but I definitely will not repurchase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, like I said, I love watching videos like this. I love seeing what I should, you know, go out and invest my money in or what I should just, you know, keep in my piggy bank. So if you have a video like this or you want to do a video like this, please let me know what your crap products are and post it as a video response down below. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.